This lighting is kind of off, right? We're gonna ignore that and we're gonna ignore the carpet that I still haven't moved. But we are gonna look at Trent's merch. Hey, 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 hey. Women supporting women, you love to see it. I love you, bitch. So I hope you have your comfies on because girl, we're gonna be here for a minute. We have the whole entire, not the whole entire season, but the first half of the season of you. And uh, I just have a feeling it's gonna be a bumpy ride. Why am I still standing? I don't know. But yes, we have the first five episodes. So we're gonna be here for about five hours. <laughs> We will be ordering food. We are not cooking tonight. And I honestly don't really have any idea what's going on. We're in, where are we? Paris, London? I don't know, but we're apparently a DILF teacher. So this is gonna be a bumpy ride. So again, get your comfies, get some food. Oh dear, and let's get started. All right, first episode, Joe takes a holiday. Now living in London, that's where it is. Joe tries to lay low and resist old habits until he's forced to tie up loose ends and bond with a circle of wealthy socialites. Ooh la la, Joe, you crazy. I'm gonna keep calling him a DILF, but like that's not necessarily me calling Joe a DILF. It's more so calling Penn Badgley a DILF. And honestly, I need you to respect my feelings during this time. Ba bomb. Y'all know how to do it. Every Netflix show. I am not skipping that recap. I don't remember a single thing that happened. Sing. I already miss you. I, miss you. I don't miss but that. Well. I wolf you. Out. Never, ever, ever will be okay in my book. History romantics. Oh my god, Beck! Y'all remember when we were in season Come one out. and she was like masturbating in front of a window? I will never forget that. Ever, ever, ever forget that. We both know who's to blame here. Because you. of love. You are always- I forgot about that. But you are always to blame. You are the worst person ever. I died by love's hand. Thankfully, I knew good people that's to watch right, over That's right, that's right. I had to leave him behind. That's now. right. The hardest for thing now. I've ever done. Whatever. I told myself, this is the last time. It's you. Or Bitch, nothing. we have heard that so many times. It's never the last. Like, come As on. As a problematic man appropriating a queer poet once said, the heart wants what it wants. I just think it's so funny how like I stay tuned into the show, but like it's becoming a hate watch at this point because I cannot stand Joe at all. <laughs> Pen Badgley, I'm gonna start barking. I'm sorry. Wolf, wolf, bitch. Suddenly I wolf you? Oh my God, it's making sense. <laughs> Suddenly it's clicking. The chorus is American iconoclasts of the short story. Dean was probably picturing more Hemingway, but hey, I was a last minute hire. Nadia, you said pants. Where is his qualifications? Did you not have to show paperwork? Legends, all of literature. Hyperbole. These two are going to kill each other or get married by the end of term. Well, spoken like somebody that's never felt love, so how would you know? Okay, all right. Everybody read. Call him out. That's gonna be Joe's little sidekick, huh? Mm, I kind of feel it. Reese Mint Rose. Well, is he not a thing in America? Everyone here wants him to run for mayor of London and ultimately save England from itself, but I guess the bar's so low. Calling out hypocrisy at the most elementary level makes you Jesus Christ in a peacoat. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I, I like love it. her! Damn, she really said the bar is in hell. And look at the respect. You may not own a hairbrush, but does she dog ear a page? If LA was purgatory and suburbia was hell, London? Maybe when I finally got to the good place. Joe, you are not going to a good place. I'm sorry. When we talk about you, you're gonna be looking up and up and up and up. Jonathan. And the occasional douchebag. The American. This guy. Professor Harding, hello. Malcolm, please. Go, go, go. Rouse young minds and etc. cetera. Perks of the job. Rumor has it, I wouldn't possibly know. I bet. See, Joe thinks he's a douchebag, but he like, he gives me douchebag, but like can be fixed. Like he gives douchebag on the weekdays, but nice guy on the weekends, you know? Like he's different just for you. <laughs> the whole like Wattpad situation. If you know, you know. All I can say is never again. No love. I have no heard this multiple seasons now, just Joe. Once. God damn it, Joe. But it's what's happening at my back window across the alley that is of my particular interest. Here we go. And who is that? That's what I was waiting for. I don't want to know. 
I'm waiting for one of those people to look up and just see him standing there in the window. You know how fast I would call security? If, if I was in here in my apartment and I looked across and I saw people just standing there staring. How come nobody in this show believes in curtains or blinds? You don't even have to cover the whole window, just cover half of it. That's what I do. Kate Galvin. Kate gives very little. She only has Online 12 friends? Curated. Only okay, I say that as if I don't have literally four friends. <laughs> Positively American work ethic. I tried saving the world, but she does not want your dick, Joe. It's okay. Everything I've we came here for, what was her name, Marionette? Can you focus? And while Malcolm is off getting smashed, she's, you guessed it, still working. Okay, I don't think that's Art News Daily on her screen. Anymore. We're doing this again! Oh my god, Beck, legend never dies. Again, Not why watching. do these people do this? Why does the just universe scene? keep doing this to me? I don't know, Joe. You like crazy. Crazy attracts crazy. I'm not getting hooked, truly. She's not the first sexually frustrated woman I've ever seen forget to pull the curtains. I study to learn how they tick so I can avoid the circus. Yeah, that's Nothing why you do it. Missing. Like, Joe, don't lie. Your dick is so hard right now. But missing you won't bring you back. I thought it would count. For something, how far I travel all over France. For you. If I was anywhere and I saw him just walking around, I would literally think he has a gun in With his pocket. Maybe that's the American in me, but like, I just would not trust him. He looks so sketchy. Just so we're clear, it's not following someone if you have to walk the same way home. They don't look friendly. That's how you look! This can't be happening. I can't get involved. Get over it, get over it. This is the one time that he wants to not get involved. <laughs> Is he really gonna fall in love with this woman? Oh my god. Are you okay? I fucking hated that watch. I'll take that as a yes. Cops would not be good for me. Uh, for you, Joe. Sorry, no one is worried so about you. Awkward. Sorry, I'm gonna hate on him this entire time. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't mention me. My work visa is shaky. I had to go and save her. I just had to do it. I just had to be the good guy. Oh. Whatever will I do? And most of all, stay away from both of them. So he's gonna do completely the opposite of that. Oh they target people like us because they know that no one. Something gets tells me he's about to explain how the rich are the real victims here. To hate yeah. the rich. We're the real victims here. We built this country, and what thanks do we get for it? See, Joe thinks he's a douchebag. He gives me douchebag, but like, like he gives on the weekdays, but nice guy on the weekends. American, are we? Careful. They will have guns. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Okay, I can say that. You cannot say that. That was so wrong. Who wrote that line? Literally, who wrote that line? They've been on Twitter. They know. They need to be fired. I'm not sure any of these people even like each other. They're all just so obscenely rich. It's like a mandatory club. Ridiculous beast is Adam, ah, my boyfriend. The real legend! Take marriage material, but the jury's still out. Oh. I'm really rooting for him. Ever since I saw that video of the director just like cutting him down right in front of his face. These four people live in these tiny apartments. Like I'm looking at his, you know, background and he's got his TV and, and you know. Yeah, mute it. I know it's apartment. That's why give me this job so I can get a better one. All right. Um, <laughs> ready? Oh my god, I'm so, so sorry. No, it's because totally, li listen, I'm living, I'm, in a, so I'm living in a four by four box. It's fine, just give me the job and we'll be oh fine. I don't know, I love a good underdog. Possibly be that funny. <laughs> Reese Montrose. Well, everyone wants a good run for Mayor of London. Oh, What's he doing here? okay, we can have a good friend. Book. Fellow man with a shit childhood then. Oh my god, we love trauma bonding. Okay, I'm rooting for this. I'm off to Berlin to go on a morning show to be very coy about whether I run for mayor. Hey, you got my votes. Can we vote? Around, Jonathan. Wait, how does yeah, that work? Back to being a Joe, I don't think you can vote. Bags. It's time to go. Well, okay. Drunker than I thought. Honestly, that first time you stand up after drinking while sitting down, humbling. Very humbling. Why are you here? Did you kill someone? I can always tell. My cousin killed someone. An accident, of course. It was just a homeless person, which... God, if she did it now, she'd be cancelled. 
Um, yeah, because homeless people don't have any worth or value. These people are kind of the worst. Did you break my heart, Marianne? Marianne! What'd I call her? Marionette? Oh my god, I did her dirty. I'm so sorry, girl. He really followed her? Why am I surprised? Hello? That's this whole show. Jane. This is the fourth season. Oh. <laughs> Queen, at least it's in a public setting. Ooh, that's that trauma coming back. That's that realization that I am not happy to see this person. I followed a woman to Paris, and then she broke my heart. Well, then she wasn't the one. We were perfect together. My ex-wife told her things about me. That, that are accurate that and true. The women believing women. Like, they don't lie and cheat and fuck. I mean, yeah, like, I I literally just said women supporting women, but, like, there are bad women out there. I'm not saying I'm going to blindly support people, but I hate all these people. <laughs> How did they make the most unlikable ensemble? Well, made it home, at least. Do you see what trying to forget you's done to me? Maybe oh, I'll... come on! Oh my god, Joe, this? my dude. Stand up! Back to the quiet. Malcolm. Scum. What the fuck? I ran away from all this. I never wanted to touch a bloody knife again. The fact that you can say that, Joe, that's all you do, though. This is nothing new. I don't know why I'm surprised. Again, fourth season. I know how this man operates by now. What the? <laughs> what the hell? We're cutting off limbs again? Finger. Phalanges? Oh, you're fucked. Any sec they knock on the door to find a suspicious human-sized rug. Of course, I could run into them on their way out carrying a human-sized rug. New plan, hurry up. Got till dark to figure out what the hell. Oh, there goes the cap. Why am I not wearing my cap? This is what you saw when you looked at me, Maria. Yeah, because this is you. I didn't want you to. Oh my God, we need to go back to therapy. That was the best thing that he has ever done. And he still fucked it up. See, I don't think I would have ran away from a place that's so public. I would feel more comfortable there than here with him. Marianne! Joe, you're not that stupid. I know you're not that stupid. I knew it! See, he's got his crazy eyes, though. Stop. I'm not gonna hurt you. You're right, you're not. Exactly, oh, exactly. Tell him! <laughs> I'm not gonna hurt you. Proceeds to literally almost kill her. Ask me that. You killed Ryan. He took your child. Get your wife. And love didn't kill you. You killed her, didn't you? We did not think that through, did we? Tell me there haven't been more. Oh, Queen. Oh my God. You gotta sit down for that. I'm gonna prove it to you. Bye, Marianne. Just a stranger in a strange land looking for some place remote to dispose of Malcolm. A sawmill. You know, just a casual Friday night for Joe. <laughs> Luckily, they have many of the same common workshop tools here as they do back in the States. Why would they not? That was a good, like, quick little dive. You can tell he's done this before. Why do I hear a party? Said I like it like that. When I went to my Zumba classes. Whoa! just trying to talk about a cute little Zumba story. Oh yeah, because that's so much better. Damn, I thought this was Netflix. I didn't know I was watching HBO. I like it like that. Whoever decided to put this song over this montage, sick. Sick and twisted dessert trail. Whoever decided to put just a full dick in my face like that, jail. He had some big balls too. I was like, shit, damn. Like, why were his balls entering the room before... <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking, anyway. I don't know what I was thinking when I killed Malcolm. It's all black, I just know I failed. Why do I have a feeling though he didn't? Right. 
This is like my hope for the season because I always say this when I watch it. If you don't see a body, that character's not dead. So in my head, <laughs> which is probably delusional, love is still alive. She followed him here and is gonna make him look crazy and maybe like try to frame him for something. I don't know. I think that would be really fun, but. You left Sundry House with Malcolm the other night, didn't you? Please thank him for me for helping me into my apartment. I was pissed. Yes, we all saw. He must be at the house in Surrey writing poetry. Not a poetry fan. Why would Noted. he say that? Wait, you just said like he. Oh, I actually did need to ask what? You something. That just kind of says that you were the last person to see him alive. Evan Ness. I know this app. It's one of those high security chat apps that erases everything you say. How did I get this on my phone? Hello, you. Like, it has Isn't to be love, right? You surprised me handling Malcolm like that. What the? It has to be love, right? Like, who else would be following him and doing this? Here I thought when I left him on your table, you'd go down for my sins. I didn't do it. You're not who I figured you for. Who are you? Who am I? No. Who are you? One of them. And who's this? Baby yeah. <laughs> Killed Malcolm. I'm back on one. No, I don't think it's them though. It's gonna be like a whole season of misdirect, huh? And what's your next move? Two. And that's how the first one ends. Do, 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 do. Oh, I missed the music! Ah! Oh my god, okay, we're gonna just jump into the second episode because I feel like I've said everything I need to say. One of you fuckers sent me those texts. One of you killed Malcolm left him on my table and are now trying to frame me for it. Hello? What is this? Is that a letter? We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. Your presence is requested at a night to die for. And now a cryptic invite evoking a British murder mystery. I'm in a whodunit. The lowest form of literature. <laughs> we love a call out. He says that, but I love a good whodunit. I mean, hi, we've watched both Knives Out movies now on this channel. I love sitting here and theorizing and then being extremely wrong. Someone commented actually, I think it was on, it was either my Knives Out one or my Wednesday one, being like, <laughs> This girl will sit here and say that everyone is the suspect. So when one of them turns out to be right, <laughs> she can say that she was right. And I was like, mm, you're kind of, you're kind of accurate there. I'm not even going to lie. But that's just because my brain is just going at like 90 miles per hour and it's just coming up with theories. And when one of those stick, you know what? I'm going to go with it. I don't care. Too bad. I fucking love who done it. You don't think the style's just a bit formulaic? Oh my God. You're one of them. <laughs> I love her! Call him out! This is gonna be the Ellie of the season. Hello again. Hi. Oh shit, it's you. I'm learning a lot about you. Paranoid. Loner by nature. <laughs> fucking stalker. Can you not text back? It, is the app's name Evanes or Evanescence? I have not been paying attention, but in my head it's gonna be Evanescence so I can sit here and sing songs in my head. How can you see into my eyes? You out soon enough. I can't let you do that. So I have to figure you out first. You nervous about your show? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Phoebe invited Jonathan. I see. Why are we so hated already? Not me rooting for Joe. This is what happens. They put Joe with like the worst people that you've ever met that you have no choice but to root for him. Malcolm's office. Books all by men. Syllabus he's too lazy to update. I kind of want him to get caught just for funsies. You know, let's spice it up a little bit. Okay, if you're hiding something in a lamp, it's probably not My a good detective thing. Fee? Sure. These are bets making these IOUs. Malcolm had family money, but if he gambled enough, maybe not anymore. Oh, <gasps> the sun. Oh, Professor, uh, what, what are you doing? Oh shit! Oh shit! I, I was just leaving him a note because he missed office hours. Malcolm's girlfriend asked me to check if she left her wallet. We're neighbors, and hence the. Oh, that's boring. Is no one worried that this man has not shown up? <laughs> Uh, 
what? Beg me. What the hell? Oh, thank you. Oh, more. Give it to me. I think I've seen, yeah, I've seen enough. Listen, I am not here to shame any kinks. It's definitely a no for me, dog. No photos, please. Well, any friend of Malcolm and Kate's. Just Malcolm. Jonathan. Damn! That's so mean! Fuck you! What just happened? Gaslighting piece of shit! Whoa. Tell him! Go on! Tell him you're fake! Tell him! Ooh, I wanna hear it. No, come back, come back. I need some drama, I need some spice. Simon did something to her. What? I was... Simon's assistant, and I did more than wash brushes. I painted those canvases. You did the work, Simon got the credit. Mm -hmm. Sounds about right. It's my aunt's cat, Isis. Isis? Malcolm was writing I'm about her. Oils, Whoa! So if you don't believe me, fuck you. 3,000 enough. So she's just gonna pay her off. She's, she's done that before. This is not anything new. Joe, look away. You killed him for it. I have too many friends. I'm back when one is dead. I just can't take it anymore. Mm. Wait, wait. No, it has to be a misdirect. <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. It's making too much sense. You'll leave at some point, Simon. And I'll be right behind you. What do you want? What the f***? Okay, well, someone that Simon knows. I'm getting closer to finding out who you are. On a related note. It's a novel! Glad you're here. Being around British people trying to feel feelings is creepy. I'm sorry for your loss. The way I didn't even realize that he had an American accent. Reset. Death is bullshit. <laughs> so why are they getting on Joe's case for being American? Y'all are bitches. The police thing. Just straight up bitches who only care about money and power. Hate it here. I need some air. I'm with Reese. Aren't these supposed to be Simon's closest friends? It's Reese not Reese, is right? From them. It can't be. Because if it's not like the first person that you think it is, it's the person that you least expect. And I think Reese would be the one I would least expect. What was your first thought when you heard Simon was murdered? Good. Shot. Simon tore through people like Christmas presents. They love enemies. Nothing I could prove. Like, he knows Whatever too much, the right? I, I don't know. Right now, him and love. That's my top two right now. He volunteered to read my pages and then just left me hanging. I think he's out sick. Mm. If he's not dead, then he could reply to a text and just... Why does it sound like that there's something going on? No, it's just like I never existed to him, so... Was she just a student? Exactly, that's the wow. vibe I'm getting. <laughs> His beard looks so pretty right here. Like, I just wanna... Hello? What? Ah! It was tough, but I did it. Hello, Joe. So, it can't be love, cause love knows. Right? I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, am I really that delusional? Kind of. Who did that? Did go wrong? Who is this? And how did we kill that many people? Oh, hello. You. It's been a long time since we last saw each other, but I can see you are still doing well. You seem to be watching something. What is it? Oh, your internet mom Ash? Personally, not my favorite, but that's okay. I can change that. I can fix that. I can fix. Wait a minute. What is that that you are holding? Oh, so you have a Case Defy case on your phone. Smart girl. You must know then Case Defy is a tech accessory brand specializing in unique and protective phone cases plus other tech accessories. It's engineered with two layer Qi tech and can protect you when I'm not around. I know you're clumsy and a bit of a mess, so thank God these cases are drop test approved. And not only are they slim and protective, but they come in a lot of designs. You have quite the personality and can even customize your case to your heart's desired. But 
you are also indecisive. So you can look at the collabs Caseify have done in the past and select one of those as well. But you knew all that. But did you know they have an antibacterial coating that keeps your case germ-free and are made of 50% recycled material? Yeah, Caseify is pretty great. And I'm glad you have one. Maybe I do Oh, I've been spotted. I gotta go. But thank you to Caseify for sponsoring this video. Go to caseify.com slash yourmomash today to get 15% off your new favorite case. I'm sorry, but it's about Professor Harding. Well, fuck me. He's been murdered. I assume the police are asking Kate if Malcolm had any enemies. Mm, shit. Finally! Yeah, call his ass and be like, why are you so weird? What is that American expression? Mind your own fucking business. I'm sorry. The news about Malcolm. Save your breath. You'll need it for when the police arrive. She didn't. Oh, shit. Oh, she did. Oh, shit. I wonder what she said, though. When was the last time you saw Malcolm Harding? You're gonna look so guilty. Uh, we, he brought me home from a club. His girlfriend might have mentioned that to you. You were literally the last person to see him alive. You, the last person to see him that's alive. That's what I'm saying! Shit, it's time to start dancing as fast as I can. I'm not sure that's true, actually. Telling me things that maybe he didn't mean to, like, uh... Even out Simon had been coercing younger artists into making his paintings. So he was going to make Simon fix it. I, I took that to mean blackmail. He's like, actually, hand over the notepad. I'm gonna she write this for you. <laughs> like Anyone who can cooperate this. Blue Cahill, yeah, she's one of the artists who Simon was taking advantage of. I hate of. how it always works out for him. I heard when is his react. ass gonna get caught? Thanks again to the tea. <laughs> it was shitty. You think of never make else? tea ever again. Yeah, you are not Uncle Iroh, and you never will be. No one ever will be. Let's get that straight. What is with this photographer? How are you faring? Fine. Did you manage to get Malcolm all squared away? That's looking suspicious. Protective, or is it you taunting me? Ooh, the th did you see the thumb rub? How could Bitch, I Bitch, come on. Is this how they mourn? That's how they party. Okay, That's just what they do all the time. They're, they're really literally the worst people ever. Designer. Why haven't you killed Kate? Because Bill? we don't need to do that. Fuck, where did she go? Well, I don't know, but for your benefit, you should probably stay with people who can give you an alibi. She does not want to talk to you, bro. Back up. Look, as much as I love sarcastic banter with faux polite American egotists. Egotist. All the death. So, cooperate with- I hate her dress. I'm just staring at like that little slit. It is not tailored at all. You have all that money and it's just hanging on you like it just got ripped down an alleyway. Like, let's get real. You think I didn't know he was fucking around behind my back? <gasps> because I'm doing the same I thing, didn't say that. right? That's the kind of relationship we had. She's horny, I'm telling you. She's so Let me horny. show you our favorite spot. Okay, now she's inviting me to follow her. Cause she's horny! I don't know how many more times I have to say it. God, the dress is go. pissing me off, I hate it. You're gonna be so disappointed when you realize that women in the 21st century can take care of themselves. Ooh, tell him, he needs to learn that. Can we get that tattooed on his body somewhere? Is that not long hair right there? This is love. And Malcolm and I didn't just drink. Is she coming home to me? <laughs> Come on. Oh, look at that. We just landed in missionary. What a coincidence. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. She your next victim? No, she's in danger. Hello. That's Malcolm's ring. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh, my God. Somebody's trying to frame me. <laughs> okay, we can't kill him. We can't kill him. That would have hurt if I still had- I was gonna say it's too busy! I'm not rooting for him, but I am, but I'm not. I don't know, I'm invested. <laughs> oh my god, Joe! You are wrong. My dick's never been softer. Okay, Joe. Okay. Okay, I'll give you that one. You're wrong. My dick has never been softer. And it's never been tinier. So here we go. We killed another person. I'd say a few words, but I doubt Vic was a Didion fan. But, uh, you know, just a normal day. Nothing crazy. You're coming and you cannot say no. All of us 
under one roof. We simply must have you there. So this is what the Blacksworths mean, my little country house. Little? Oh. Adjoining doors, of course. It's a great bed for shagging. We want round two? Shame that won't be happening. Glad we have that straight. So glad. She has given me so many mixed signals. Ma'am, what do you want? Fuck! Do demons. people really play this game? Play I have never seen croquet anywhere, pretty much except Heather's. And that's iconic. No, he's my top up. You're my new hoop. <laughs> Uh, uh, no, no, no. On all fours, like a little doggy. A good doggy, woof, woof. That is so degrading. <laughs> hey, come on, be a good sport. <sighs> no one's gonna say anything, Phoebe. I know you're looking at this and you don't like it. Oh, Christ, I'll see you inside, peeps. <laughs> is it not made clear you are to remain outside? I don't want to have to make a phone call. Girl, go beat him up, honestly. You have caught him so many times staring at whatever you're doing. It's weird. I don't like spies. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's not gonna happen again. Is there something else? No. Bye. Actually, yes, there is something. My, um, my necklaces are tangled. Would you just... I shouldn't, I should not. Why the soft music? What is this baloney? Damn it, I shouldn't have, no. Why? We don't need Never any again. of that. I just want to know who is Evanescence! I hate everybody. <laughs> Baby's the only real one here. <laughs> Quick, you assert it. Okay, he Whoa. literally was inside you. I don't think it matters your if he sees your underwear. Did I lie? Did I lie? Roll. Who are you? And what are you hiding? Wait, what have we here? I know this neck. Yeah, it's the one you just took a necklace off of. I knew he was obsessed with her. Kate. He was not I subtle. Those bees are cover for stalking her. Oh, damn. <clears throat> Gemma. Why is she the worst person? You love when I do that. I actually think I despise her. You have cut yourself off at the knees. I'll take it under advisement. I love your stubbornness. Ew. Luckily for you. He is my worst nightmare. And your good heart. Hate him. Ugh. Like, my skin is crawling right now. I do not like him. He makes me uncomfortable. He's kind of like Joe in the sense of like, I'm this big hero and I'm going to protect you. And it's like, no, you're just creepy. You're just weird, and I don't want to be around you. I don't feel safe. Why are you looking at her that way? So are we over our girl? Like, she was there for five minutes, and now it's like, no, definitely not done. There. I mean, I know he said like, oh, I'm gonna show you I'm different. I'm gonna let you go. But he got over her real quick, considering we moved to a new country for her. These two are boring, just f then. Who cares? Sick. Cool. Awesome. Where's love? I'm really banking on it. Girl, could you have at least brushed your hair? Get that smile off of your face. That is I just had sex smile. Wow. Talk about nice things. Five minutes later. Lady Phoebe is dead. Oh, this but, is part of the game. This is a game. But once, to discuss how we might find her killer. You've gotta be fucking kidding me. Okay, so then when someone actually shows up dead, then what? Quite literally, then what? What's in here, Roald? Help you with that. <laughs> did you kill Malcolm because you're in love with Kate? No, did you? <laughs> good, 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 come back. Someone gets hurt. You totally broke an arm, something, your back. I don't know, you broke something. See, I'm such a tattletale. I'm I'm going and telling someone. I'd be mean, like, this this bitch rolled, he's gotta go. How he is walking right now makes no sense to me. Screaming is 
Fuck, that sounded real. Where's Phoebe? Where's no, Kate? No, where's Phoebe? Was Phoebe there? Oh no. <gasps> what did you say about Phoebe? Oh, that's not Phoebe. Oh, that's a dumb bitch. Never mind. Okay, good riddance. Anyway. Wait, she killed her? No, she found her. There's no way she killed her. Right? Bye, pumpkin. Bye, pumpkin. You don't think I did this? I don't. Oh, Jesus just Christ. because that's too simple. I mean, to be fair, he did walk in on her holding a knife. Like, what is he supposed to think? Why are you so worried about other people coming in? Why aren't you calling for help? I can't call for help because that would involve security. So then what's the plan? They are my father's. Jonathan, I told you what kind of man he is. You make him sound like someone who could take care of this. My friend who has been killed. You have to be joking. He, he would own me. And that is worse than... What? Girl, get a grip. It's not all about you. As in, I don't seize the first opportune moment I have to turn around and pin it on you. And I don't abandon you either. What? And once I confirm it's really you. But I don't think it is. Do we still have half of the season. It's not her. There's no way. I'm gonna say, are you good? You literally just fell out of a window. Please. I know you're hiding your kink. Shall I peck you? Go on showers? Why this appeals? <laughs> I don't know. I am not gonna see her pee on him, right? I'm not seeing this right now, am I? I already saw a dick. I'm good. Oh, careful. She is not wait, just gonna wait, squat wait. on him like she's in the middle of the desert. Mm. Wait, what's wrong? Nothing. Open your eyes and look at me. I don't want it to burn. Go on. What? Yes, I do. I was ready to piss on your face to prove I'm enough for you, and you clearly don't want this, and you refuse to tell me why. What are we watching? We aren't equals in this relationship. It's over. What? That was so wild to witness. I... Okay. Can we get to the plot? Can we get back to where we need to be? Hello? Was that th her room? She found the carpet? Oh, because she was going up there to talk to her because she just broke up with him. Oh, girl, yeah, you, you needed girl time at the wrong time. Gemma is in the game larder. Temporarily. You need to send the staff away. We need privacy to deal with whatever's next with the body. None of this makes sense. Like, I get it, dad, woo. Ah, but like, what? Weird, weird behavior. Stand up, Jonathan. The bastard killed Gemma. I found him in the game larder with her body. I hereby sentence you, Jonathan Moore. Who do you think you are? To death. You're not serious. Maybe don't test him when he has a gun pointing at you. We always give the foxes a chance in the hunt, don't we? Would you like a head start? Okay, but don't kill him. It's gonna look really bad. Oh my God, did you just kill him? Nice. Uh -huh. No, Joe. I'm brilliant. I'm brilliant. I am so brilliant. I said it's either him or it's love. I'm still banking on love appearing somehow because we did not see her body. I know that's delusional. Let me live in my little world. Be wondering where you are. The secret bowels of Hampsbridge House. It's you. Joe, you know what? For this being right. like mind getting into the fourth now. season, you think he'd be I'd better at this. Too. Like I knew it was him right away. <laughs> I say that as if I did suspect love too, but whatever. You want me? To kill Roll, yes. So you kill him and I'll take care of all the other touches that will make the story sing. I've already got the note written. So when I said earlier that Joe's gonna have a friend, I guess it didn't really you click really eat the rich what killer. that meant. You that Joe was gonna have a friend, just like him. Sometimes things just don't work out with the person the way you dream, you know. If you're clever enough to get yourself free, I'll see you back in London and we can revisit this. Oh, he's psychotic. 
Y'all know that position really well. I plan to take matters into my own hands. By killing off the rich one by one? And so it is with great pride, but with greater Boo. humility that I, Reese Montrose, officially announce my candidacy. But this is like, honestly, how I see a lot of politicians. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if this was based on someone. I know who you really are now, Reese. And I'm coming for you. Bum, bum, bum. Is that how it ends? Wow. You already know I'm going to watch that preview. You've taken so much from me. We'll see about that. Why did I see Love Quinn? Why did I see Love Quinn? Why did I see Love Quinn? I literally saw Love Quinn. So maybe what I was saying about her not being dead, at least that might have been right. Okay, because I don't think that was from an old season. And if it was, why would they show that? Okay, well, all I know is in the next couple parts, I need more Love Quinn. Here, let me take these off so you can like, because I know the glare is probably really annoying. But wow, okay, so thoughts on the first part of this season, I think. It had high points, but also low points. I don't know, like it kind of lost me at some points, but then it would get me and then it would lose me and then it would get me. Like it was just kind of a tug of war, partially because I feel like a lot of Joe, like we've seen this kind of story play out before. So it gets old really quick, but I do like the new element of like someone hunting him. I kind of wish they leaned more into that than him having this romance and I know like at the end of the day that's Joe so it makes sense to have it but it's also like we've seen this we've done it we get it he's a mess like I don't know what else you want me to say about that but with that being said though I am very intrigued to see how this is gonna end this show tends to have a very strong second half compared to their first so I have high hopes and if you guys enjoyed it um, let me know and I will see you I guess in March which really isn't that far away. But also let me know any theories that you have about the future. I wanna see what you guys have to say um, because we know I'm not the best at them. So let, let's do this together, okay? Okay, anyway, love you guys. Mwah.